how do you think this stuff got in this yard? <clears throat> See, that's the whole thing. We found it in different areas of the yard. So the last time it was right over here. Previously, it was found over in these areas. So why aren't police investigating an attempted dog poisoning in a valley neighborhood? Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. A dog owner says someone threw poisonous kibble in his yard. When he called for help, officers said they couldn't do much. The 8 News Now I-Team's David Charns here with that story and why. David? Brian, Denise, we hear about these dog poisoning cases from time to time, most recently in the west part of the valley in the Lakes neighborhood. Tonight, we focus on Henderson. A dog owner says someone tried to kill his pets and he's upset with what police and animal control told him. So you found the kibble in this area? Correct. It would be difficult for him to throw it from the street throw it from back there, or even throw it from over there. Steve Polero shows us where he found kibble laced with antifreeze in his backyard. So that's when we contacted the police department and they had sent us over to animal control. It's not the first time this longtime Henderson dog owner says he's had trouble. He says his first dog got sick and died several years ago. Then, late last year, Dylan, now recovered, got sick too. Polero has since added mercy to the pack. And now when they come out, it's like one of us is always with them. We can only bring them out on a, on a leash, and that takes away a, a lot of enjoyment for them as well as us. Polero found the tainted pieces of food in late March. He sent them out to get tested. The results, positive for poison. He then called police. We couldn't understand. We said, well, can you guys at least come out and do a report? You know, maybe that can make some people aware. And their results of that phone call was, well, we're going to send you over to animal control. Animal control followed up, but without any video or eyewitnesses, a city spokesperson says there wasn't anything for officers to investigate. Polero puts it this way. Well, we don't, can't really do anything. If you can catch who it is on tape and let us know who it is, we'll send a citation to them. I mean, a send a citation for... to somebody who's trying to kill things. There were cameras before. Now there's more in case this person strikes again. With an inviting backyard to entertain friends and their children, Polero fears the worst with the person who did this on the loose. You know, if it can kill a 50, 60 pound dog, what about a 20 pound kid? We asked Henderson Police and Animal Control just how many dog poisonings there have been in the city, but they tell us they actually don't track that. We asked the same question to Metro Police, and a spokesperson tells us there are no known poisonings so far this year, but that three cases from the lakes remain unsolved tonight. I'm David Charns, live local now.